Yo, what's going on, Night Family? Welcome back to another video, guys. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is not going to be a vlog. I just want to sit down and talk to you guys, bro. I want to sit down and talk to you guys about some things that I've been going through in my life. And I want to give you guys a little backstory about my love life, you know? Because there's some things I want to talk about on my channel. And I hope you guys do enjoy my talk videos like this. Um, you know, anybody who's new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I am D-Night. I'm one of the type of YouTubers that don't like to do a lot of editing, cut scenes and stuff throughout my videos. When it comes to talk videos, I want to give you guys raw footage. And for a disclosure of this video, uh, I do not hate women. Um, right now, I love and respect women. I love and respect all humans on this planet, all creatures of this universe, and also the next existence outside of God's existence. You know? I love everybody, you know? I love every being. I love everybody, every entity, everything, you know? And one thing about me, I will give you guys from my point of view on how I see women and how I view women and what I've been through, give you guys a backstory. I'm going to try to make this video pretty quick, but not too quick. And, you know... Just want to elaborate on this, bro, because I feel like this video will help out a lot of men out here on this world and on this planet who dealing with women. Because I'm a late bloomer, man. I wasn't the type of guy who grew up with a lot of women, grew up with attraction, grew up with all this type of, you know, physical attraction. You know, I was a skinny, tall, black guy with a big ass nose with acne scars. I'm not the best looking guy on the planet. Trust me, not the best looking guy. I'm six foot two, 140 pounds. Six foot two, 140 pounds. Here's my physique. I like to pop that out there, you know. And for me, guys, for me, I'm just doing me right now, bro. I'm not looking for a woman. I'm not looking for a, a girl to date me. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. My best advice to you guys out there is to live your life. Always chase money, never chase a woman. You will go broke chasing women, but you'll never go broke chasing a woman. But let me go and give you guys a backstory about who I am, who is D-Knight, where I come from. I came from Jackson, Mississippi. Grew up in Jackson, Mississippi, and I grew up in a rough area, rough neighborhood, rough city as well. Um, grew up in a predominant black community. Damn near the whole city was black. Every school system in Jackson, Mississippi was black, mostly black kids. Uh, I grew up, you know, just in a tough environment, bro. Like, I just never had luck with girls. Uh, I was just always skinny, always had acne, always didn't look that attractive. Right now, I'm probably a three out of five, three out of ten. Um, I'm not the best looking guy, man. Some girls think I'm cute. Some girls think I'm ugly. Simple as that, you know. I have medium success on online dating. My online dating is like okay. Dating in person is okay. A lot of people will say I have success with dating because I do get my fair share of women. But it comes to like, you know, people be honestly telling me that, hey, bro, you're winning in the dating world. You're getting all these girls. But one thing, how I feel about it, you guys can say whatever you like to say, but I don't feel like I'm winning in the dating market unless I'm with a girl. You know, I want a, I want a girlfriend. I want a relationship. I don't like the type of guy who want to go around sleeping with multiple women. I'm not that type of guy. Like a lot of people will say I'm winning. But to me, I'm not winning. I don't give a damn if I got five different bad bitches on my line, you know, ready to hit up at any time, ready to, you know, gobble a nigga up. You feel me? Like, I don't care. I just want a girl. I want love. I don't know if I want lust, you know, I'm not the lustful type of guy. Honestly, you know, sex here and there is cool and all, you know, things like that. But just having genuine love from a woman is something that I crave and something I'm not craving anymore because women, bro, women, women, women. I used to think women were all sugar and spice and everything nice until I actually started to date women. Well, I that came out wrong. Until I actually started to date I'm not gay or was gay. I'm not a homosexual or was a homosexual. I'm a straight man and always been a straight man. That's one thing. But as soon as I started to hop into the dating scene, guys, I started to realize and figure out and also experience women true t tensions, you know? Women are evil, devious, manipulative, corrupt creatures, bro. Women are so evil, bro. They will literally lie to you just to get sex. They will literally lie to you to get what they want. They will literally cheat on a boyfriend with a dude they barely know. Women will literally act out of impulsions. Just because they feel a certain way, they go do this. They don't think logically. They think emotionally. If a woman want to screw the whole NBA roster, you know, she would do that just because she feel like you're not giving her the attention that she want. She want validation from other men. She want this from other men. Something you lacking in, she want to get it from another man, you know. Nobody is perfect. To the women out there, nobody is perfect, bro. Nobody is perfect. It's all about commitment. That's why I tell people love is temporary, you know. Love is temporary. Commitment is forever, you know. You got to learn how to be committed to your partner. Love is always going to fade. 
Why do you think most women initiate divorces more than men? Why do you think the male suicide rates is way higher than female suicide rate? These are statistics, you know? These are proven. These are things you can look up on your own. Look up the male versus female suicide rates. The male suicide rates doubles women. The male and female divorce rates the females divorce males way more than males divorce women because women get alimony, women get a lot of things out of benefits from breaking a man's heart, messing a man up. You see videos on the web talking about some, I just want to hurt a man, this, this, and that. The whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment and I didn't really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart and <laughs> it was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Wow. Okay. Why do you hope that you did a little damage? Just, I like humbling men. You like humbling men? Yeah. It's so like my pastime. Your pastime is humbling men. Mm -hmm. You do work at the Spearman Rhino, so, at a strip club, so. Do you humble men there? No, I take their money. Break them and stuff like that. When is it ever the thing, when it has it ever been okay to hurt somebody? When has it ever been okay to make somebody feel like crap? When has it ever been okay to destroy a person physically, mentally, spiritually, and destroy their ego to the point where they want to commit suicide and to the point and feeling down in the dumps, feeling like they can't get a woman, feeling like they can't get love, feeling like they don't deserve love. Women are just disgusting, bro. Like, I love you women, but I hate the attention that you have. Most women are evil. Some women are good. I just, I'm just confused, bro, because I had so many women out here did me wrong, did me dirty, lied to me, and manipulated some bull crap came to see my family i let a woman see my family bro i'm over here visiting her mom her mom loved me her friends loved me and two three weeks later she want to break up with me talking about she's she not ready for a relationship i had so many girls tell me they're not ready for a relationship bro i'm not lacking in anything bro i'm tall athletic bbc fucking what else you want from me my g like like i don't understand women bro like i it's just so confusing it is so annoying that you got to deal with such crap, bro. Like, I am fed up with women, bro. Like, this is, like, the modern day women are so broken. They are not raised to want a man. They are not raised to be a wife. They are not raised in a right, proper mindset of a woman, bro. They are raised to be promiscuous. They were raised to have abundant mindset. They were raised to freaking think outside. I don't know what to say, bro. It's just weird, dude. Like, women are something. Women are something, bro. Women are something, man. And excuse me, guys. I'm just ranting, bro. I just want to talk about this topic, bro. So many things going through my head, bro. I haven't written down anything. I'm just freestyling this right now, bro. I had a girl. She was Hispanic. Got a baby. About to be 30 years old. Woman told me she wanted a relationship with me. God damn it, busting all kinds of nuts inside the girl on the face and everything. You gonna come around and turn around and talk about you don't want to be with me, you know? And she literally blocked me a couple of days after telling me that on all social media platforms and everything, you know? How are you gonna let a dude shoot up the club and block him after the, after all of that, you know? Like, I did nothing wrong. Like, one girl in Somerset, Kentucky, treated her well. We had a good time. Never even had a fight argument three weeks into the relationship. Seen her mom, seen her friends, seen her family. Told her brother about me and things like that. She came to see my mom, seen my family. My parents liked her. Things like that. Ended in three weeks. Wanted her why? Because she wasn't ready for a relationship. All she wanted was the BBC, you know? And now she gonna marry some... No, uh, not marry. She dating some weird-looking hillbilly inbred white man, you know? Down in Somerset, Kentucky, where they can have some inbred mentally dis disordered babies, you know? Stupid as hell, bro. But, man. Bro. Women are crazy, dude. Women are crazy, man. One thing I like to tell you guys out there, bro. Self-love for a man is very important. If you don't have self-love, you're not gonna be... You're not gonna be loved, bro. Like honestly, man has it harder than women. Man has to be physically attractive. We have to have finances. We have to have nice house. We have to have all kinds of things. A woman can be dead broke as long as she look good. She can live a million dollar lifestyle. Simple as that. Women live life on easy mode. Look good, you live a million dollar lifestyle. A woman can work a dead end job at Walmart making $10, $12 an hour and get picked up by a millionaire just because you look good. A good looking man working at Walmart working $12 an hour will never be looked at by the woman with money or status. Simple as that, you know? And one thing I wanted to talk about, 
hope I'm not forgetting it because I learned a lot about women, bro. I love women. I'm not shit. I'm a disgusting looking person. You can say whatever you want about me. If you're a woman who want to call me misogynistic, you are the product of the problem. You are part of the problem. If you feel like a man speaking his mind on how you feel about women is bad off the experiences he been through. I've been through nothing but bad experiences with women. I treated women good. I treated women how a woman's supposed to be treated. I was always taught to shower a woman with love, make her feel special, make her feel wanted, reassure her and never make her a second guess or feel insecure about herself being with you. I learned how to do that. And, but in return, I get fucked over. In return, I get screwed over. Want to know why? Because women are messed up women are messed up honestly i blame society i blame mainstream media i blame all this type of music bro music mainstream media sexual liberation all that other bull crap is literally ruining happy homes there are more corrupt mindsetted people out here on this planet talking about some dog her out before she dog you out dog him out before he dog you out it's all about these men and women battling each other for a type of dominance or superiorities of some type of i don't know what they fighting for bro what are you fighting for male and women female and males is the part it's, it's, it's both genders bro it's not just one it's both it's men and women it's men and women bro both of them are just both of them are just crazy, bro. The man go do a good woman wrong, and the good woman go do a uh, the, the good the damn the good man. Hold on, the man do the good woman wrong, the good woman turn into a bad woman and do the good man wrong. It's a vicious cycle. It's a circle of life, man. Whoo! One thing about me, bro. I'm not looking for a woman. If something happens, it just happens. Never take a woman seriously. Always think a woman, always expect a woman to be a hoe until proven otherwise. A woman is guilty until proven innocent. That's what I like to say, man. A woman is guilty until proven innocent. Never believe a lie a woman tells you. Always make a woman prove herself to you. Never make a woman tell you that she ain't doing this, she ain't doing that. She would do this, she would do that. She want to be with you, she want to love you, she want to treat you like a king. Always let a woman prove it to you. Never let, never believe a woman's words, bro. A woman's words has nothing, no, no power to it. Women's words has no power to it at all. Always make a woman prove her loyalty to you through action. If a woman telling you, I'm not talking to him, I'm not mad to him i'm not talking to other guys i'm not doing this i'm not doing that make her prove it to you bro make her make her honestly prove it to you bro and when women hear that word prove it to you a woman has to prove herself to a man when women hear that women feel like you have to go out your way to prove prove yourself to a man make you feel like you're less than a man men and women are equal on a certain on a certain level men or women are equal on a certain level when i tell a woman that she has to prove herself to me i mean you have to prove your self-worth your loyalty all that other good stuff to me. Why should I trust you when you're a beautiful woman who has a vast amount of men that you can choose? It's easier for a woman to get with a man than a man to get with a woman. It's hard, bro. Like a good looking man can get a lot of women, but for him to obtain that woman, he has to have some type of skills, social status, and money, bro. Good looking man can get the pussy, but the good looking man can't get a heart, you know? Simple as that. Got a lot of good-looking guy friends out there. Saying it's easy to get girls, but having a girl commit to him is very hard, bro. They talking about that it's easier for a woman to get a boyfriend, but it's hard for them to get a girlfriend. And these dudes are really good-looking, bro. 6'3", 6'5", tall, athletic, muscular, got money, and these dudes still complaining about it's hard to get a good woman, bro. It's crazy, dude. One thing, man. Modern-day women broke me, bro. I can't think of a woman as a good person. Until she proves to me that she's a good person. I have no positive thoughts about a woman, bro. My positive thoughts about a woman, my positive action, my positive feelings about a woman is out the window. Shattered. The modern day women literally corrupted me. They broken me. They made me feel like, you know, they ain't worth it, bro. They ain't worth it, man. <sighs> Love is not worth it, bro. Always focus on yourself. Do you. Love yourself. Love your family. Focus on yourself. Love your friends. Never depend on somebody else's happiness. Well, never depend on somebody else to make you happy. This goes for male and females. Women do not depend on a man to make you happy, and men do not depend on a woman to make you happy. You never need a man. You never need a woman. Simple as that. Always chase money and seek yourself. Work on your soul. Work on your spirit. Work on Allah. Work on a lot of things that's outside of this physical realm. 
me, I think outside the box. You know, I don't live, I don't live into this 3D dimension. I live into a higher dimension. I think outside the box, and I look at other people as like, you know, that's speculating them. You know, that's spectating them. You know, I'm like a spectator. <laughs> but anyway, man, I know I rambled around for a long time. I will add some little clips here and there inside of this video, but that I want you guys to see. See a lot of things, man. See a lot of things. I experienced a lot of things with women. Turn me off from women. Never turn me on to man. I'm not gay. I would never go that way. I'd rather die alone, single, with money and my family, than die with a woman that don't love me and cheating on me and things like that, you know. But anyway, man, I hope you guys find yourself enjoying today's video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel, more see more videos from me, of course. Hey, if you guys like these talk videos that I go through straight out without editing, let me know, let me know. I can talk for a long time, guys, but I try not to make these videos long, but things be on my mind. Things be on my mind, bro. Things be on my mind. Ask questions in the, in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this, bro. How do you guys feel about the modern day women, bro? Because the modern day women make me feel insecure. They make me feel like I'm not worth it. They make me feel like crap. I honestly don't have confidence anymore. I don't feel like I can ever get a girl. When I look at a beautiful woman and she's with another man or she's by herself, I always think to myself, I would never get a girl that looks that attractive who wants me. I would never get the woman I truly desire. I'm not good looking enough. I'm not good enough for a woman. Why should I approach her? What makes her want to choose me? A lot of these things go through my head when, when, I, when I see a woman that I want. Why do I need to approach her? Why should I approach her? Why should she want me? She got millions of other options. What makes me special? Women literally broke me, bro. I don't understand. I got confidence. I'm arrogant. I'm, co I'm cocky at times, you know, but when it comes to relationships and physical attractions that I do not have, I do not have that what other guys have. There's a time, there comes a time in a man's life where he has to accept that he would never have a woman that he truly desires, you know? And I'm, I'll be damned if I settle, bro. I ain't settling it for no woman, bro. If I can't get what I want, then hey, it ain't for me. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.